Now that we've cleaned up our recording a bit, it's time to export the audio for use in other programs. Perhaps as part of a Premiere Pro sequence, or simply to distribute as is. All we need to do to export this to another format is to choose File, Export, and we're going to export this as a file. Here we've got our export file dialog, and right now it's exporting it as a WAV. Maybe I want to use this as an MP3 file. So I'm going to choose MP3 audio, and we can name it whatever we want. I don't really need that underscore zero one that Audition puts in there automatically. And let's actually put this into my project directory as well. We don't necessarily need to include markers and other metadata when we export. So we'll untick that and note the format settings here. This is going to be an MP3 file, 192 kilobits per second, and a constant bitrate. We can, of course, make changes to that if we want to. So between constant and variable bit rates. And you've got a number of things to choose from here. Again, the higher the number, the bigger the file is going to be, but the nicer sounding the file will be too just because it's got that much more audio data that's been preserved. Now an MP3, of course, is a lossy format. So whereas when we saved a WAV file to work with, it was uncompressed, an MP3 is going to be compressed. It's going to lose data. So this is for final distribution. If we want to make any other edits, we should go back to our original WAV file. All right, I'm going to hit OK and our export will process. Aha. So, Audition's backing me up here. It warns me that this is a compressed lossy format as MP3. So yes, we do want to continue. And there we go. It's actually been exported as an MP3 and is now available for me to use in any type of project I want or even just distribute it as is.